severe acute respiratory syndrome. Ah, does anybody remember that? SARS. Does any remember? Oh, there may be kids voting today that don't remember SARS, but I've been around so long that I do, and I forget that other people don't. It was about 2002, 2003, something like that. It's SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. We're talking about a 100-year flu right now, but it could have happened then, back 22 years ago or so. I remember I was living in San Jose, and the reports of SARS, like getting into the country. SARS, it's a coronavirus. Does that sound familiar to you? It's the goddamn COVID-19 coronavirus. It's, it's an evolution of the same thing. And the thing is, it hit the world in about 2002, three right before I went to China. And everybody was freaked out, and, and then you didn't hear much about it anymore. There may have been, you know, I'm good at these numbers, and I'm not sure I'm right, but I'm just going to say there were like nine cases that were spotted in the U.S. at the time, in like 2002 and three of the SARS virus that was supposed to take everybody out. They keep threatening us with the pig virus, the swine flu, and things like that. And every time it never happens. And so people are like, they're just trying to scare us. But as it turns out, it means the government's taking care of things. Because when I went to China in 2003, in October, I arrived I ran into Jimmy and he said, yeah. He says, I was here in the last year and they just shut down all the communities. They stopped all railroads. They stopped everybody from moving. They put masks. Why do you think they had masks on Chinese faces before we do today? And now you look around, people were wearing masks the same way they did back then, and everybody acted like they were nuts. It's because we finally realize there's a sickness amidst this people of ours. Jimmy said they shut down. He was in China at the time. They shut down every village. Nobody moved. Nobody did anything. And it just didn't move. And that was in a time where uh, the son of my boss, my boss was George Herbert Walker Bush, the son of him. He had people going in and killing people in Iraq. But at the same time, he kept a goddamn worldwide pandemic from happening. Just the same way that Ebola came in while that, uh, what's that guy's name? Obama. He was in charge at that time. Ebola came in and they shut it down. They took care of things. Somebody escaped into public and they got him. They drew him back. Do you see what this is all about? That poor guy, he was in charge. He was in charge when we had something could equate to a worldwide pandemic. He said, just shoot yourself up with some kind of sanitizer, wouldn't that kill it?
And we lost a million people, I guess, because of that. You want to actually look at what a good leader that poor guy was? He left office with people dying. Normally, if there's a war or a pandemic, presidents get reelected because they're taking care of business. That poor guy, they fired him because he just didn't know how to do the job.